Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to Exclusive Modest. Hope you have a wonderful day. Today's episode is going to be on how to cut a dress with a side belt. You can see the two side belts. I'll be using this for the side belt and the sleeve. And I'll be using these dushes for the body. This is a dushes fabric and this is a crepe fabric. So I'm mixing the two together. I'm using two yard for the body. And this one and half yard is going for both belt and sleeve. So the first thing I'll be doing here is to fold it into four equally. The first folding is going to be into two. So now this is into four. You can see this is into two, then into four equally. So the first thing I'll be doing here is to take the shoulder slant. So I'll be making it a shoulder slant of one inch. So the first thing I'll be doing here is to take the shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement here is 7.5 inches. Then one inch of shoulder slant. So as you can see. So the next thing is ammo. I'm taking ammo measurement of eight inches. Eight inches. Eight inches. Then the waist measurement is fifteen point five inches. Fifteen point five inches. Ignore this line. So, from here, we are going to determine the hip point. This is not fitted, but before you can cut anything out, you must know the wideness of your hip so that. So that by the time you cut it out, it will be okay. If you don't know the wideness of the hip and you cut out, it might hide at the hip side. So to know the wideness of the hip, you have to take the hip point first. The hip point here is 9 inches. Inches for the eight point. So you can see. So the next thing to take is to take the bust measurement, the bust measurement of thirty six inches. The same allowance of one point five inches. You can use any seam allowance of your choice. It depends on how you want it to be. Then I'll be using um, 32 inches of waist measurement with a seam allowance of 1 inch. Then from here, I'll be connecting it together. Then using my ammo call for the ammo. So after this now, 
The next thing to take is the hip measurement. The hip measurement is 40 inches. With the same allowance of 1 inch. Then from here, I'm going to make a slant line like this. It's not a fitted. So I'm just going to make a slant line to the damp part of the dress. This is now the shape of the dress. You can see now, just to know where your hip is going to be. That's why we determine the hip. Not that it's going to be a fitted. No, it's still going to be an airline but you must determine the hip measurement before taking any step so you can see now so after this the next thing to do here is to take the neckline the neckline here i'm using 2.5 inches for the wideness of the neck then Two inches for the back, three inches for the front. So the, to take the full length of the dress now is 58 inches with the same allowance. 58 inches with the same allowance, you can see. I'm going to cut it out now. Okay, see before cutting the front neck i'll be cutting the side first then i'll come back to come and cut out the front neck So the back is going to have a button then i'm going to slit it down to four inches from here four inches like this then i'm going to lower the front neck now like this you can see so this is not the front neck and this is the back neck so the next thing that i mean now is to cut the sleeve so this is the correct fabric to cut out the sleeve the first folding is going to be into two this way then i'm going to fold it into four because i'm cutting for the two sleeve once so the wideness of the sleeve i'll be using here is going to be 12 inches with the same allowance 12 inches with the same allowance 12 inches with the same amount. So this is 12 inches as you can see. We have our 12 inches now. Then what you mean here is the length of the sleeve. So the sleeve length that we'll be taking here is going to be 25 inches. 
25 inches with the seam allowance so taking it from here it's going to be 25 inches this is where the 25 inches is You can see so after this now you're going to take four inches down this is not constant it depends on how low you want the ammo to be then from this four inches now this is the four inches we will it out from this four inches i'm going to make a cuff like this As you can see the cuff like this so it's not going to be like this then it's going to be a straight cutting So have a sharp edge just trimming to give you a cuff yeah like this you can see then you cut it down So you can see the sleeve now. You can see the shape of the sleeve. By the time you clip this around the shoulder, it's going to form that shape you're seeing. So the next thing is to cut the belt. The two belts are the two sides of the waist. So this is 5.5 inches of wideness. You can see. So I'm going to fold it into two. Then stitch it with half inch. So the mini inches is going for the belt. So this is for the two sides. So the way I'm going to attach it, I will show it to you. So I want to show you how you are going to attach the two belts at the sides. The first thing you want to know here, the first thing you have to know here is know the center of the dress. You chuck it down like you iron it out when you know your center you iron it out so when if you want to know your center now you iron it out so let me go and do that and show it to you so this is after ironing the center out you can see it the next thing to take here is to know the distance of the two busts. The distance of the two busts here is 7 inches. So that means 3.5 inches from here at the waistline. You are doing that at the waistline. 3.5 inches from here. 3.5 inches from the other side too. So this is where we're going to had our belt so one will go the other side and this one the other one will go the other side and they both meet at the back yes. so one belt will be here and the other one will be here then they will both meet at the back so this is the distance 
of the two belts you can see now this is how to determine the belt that is going to be at the waistline of this particular style so let me go and join everything together and show you the finishing welcome back here yeah, the finish works you can see this is after joining all the cuttings together this is the sleeve you can see this is the area like say you're going to pleat around here since you cut out 12 inches wideness it should be wider than that of 7.5 inches armor so that is why you'll be able to pleat the excess around the shoulder here you can see you can see the you can see the um this part of the sleeve you can see the other side too the same thing i table to the other side you can see the neck only is a bias to bias the neck and this is the back you can see then we had our look to it to put our button you can see how simple this is this is the belt the two belts that i cut out you can see now this is where we attach it to after turning the belt so i just place the belt like this then i stitch it just a little bit i stitch it down like this. i stitch it you can see you can see how it looks like and this other part too the same thing i've able to this so that is why that is now on so after this now after stitching the belt you'll not be able to tie it at the back so you can see the beauty part of the style and you can see how beautiful this is and simple it is if you are watching me for the first time you are in the right place to be and make sure you subscribe to my channel or your notification bell so that whenever i upload a new tutorial you will be notified see my next class assalamu alaikum